Hey everybody, uh, it's Steve here for our second installment of Questions with Steve. I've got a bunch more questions in the Isaac helmet, and I'm excited to see what you guys want to know about. Zach Porter asks, will single player be shorter due to the addition of online play? Zach, Zach, a lot of people have been asking this question. And I can tell you right now that when people have gotten a chance to play the game, because some people have, it's taken them longer to complete than Dead Space 1. So the game is actually longer. Oh, and another thing about this with the addition of online play. Online play didn't impact single player at all because we had a separate group of people working on it. So not only do you get a kick-ass one-player game, you're going to get some multiplayer as well. DM Zilla asks, will the other human models in Dead Space 2 have higher textures and or more polys than they did in Dead Space? So you want to know about the polygons, the polys, and the, the tries, and the whatnots, and that kind of stuff. The artists on the team have actually figured out some new ways to get more resolution and more detail out of the same amount of polygons, and that's done through a special mirroring technique that they're trying this time on Dead Space 2. So what you're going to wind up seeing is even better looking characters in the last game. What goes into creature design, especially new necromorphs like the tripod and those dog velociraptor looking things? Well, Arsh, there is a bunch of different stuff that goes into the creature design. The first thing when we try to create new necromorphs, um, our art director Ian and and production designer Ben uh, really want to focus in on creating relatable creatures. So one of the things that we felt made the necromorphs so interesting to people is that you know they do have you know being that they were human at one time there is a relatability there with them uh, from kind of their topology so to speak the way that they look uh, you know you can tell that there's some humanity left in them still. So the same applies to the other necromorphs. We're really looking to uh, look at them, find things that are, again, relatable uh, to people that are playing the game, and if you twist it just enough and kind of make it screwed up and creepy, uh, it's usually a good way to get people grossed out, and that's one of the things we really strive to do, too. Michael Daniel Richards asks, will Isaac react to things in the game? For example, in the first game, when the lurker kills the worker in level two, Isaac was just like, that's cool. Uh, Michael? Actually, that's something that we did look into trying to enhance this time around. I kind of thought the same thing. It was kind of weird, like, you know, not only did he never say anything, because he didn't talk in the first game, but uh, he never reacted, you know. He never kind of cowered back or, you know, did any of those kind of cool things. So we're absolutely trying to do more of that in Dead Space 2. But one of the things that makes that challenging is that when people are playing the game, when they're on the sticks, I like to say they're on the sticks. When they're on the sticks and trying to, you know, do their business, um, sometimes people don't want to be slowed down by reaction animations. Um, we actually heard in some of our focus tests, people really didn't like being knocked down because how long it took you to get back up. So it's a fine line you need to balance, and uh, hopefully we kind of nailed it with some of the reactions that you're going to see in the game. Jesse Leone asks, Steve, can you tell me why you love horror games, movies or books? And how you got started on making horror games. I really love horror games, books, comics, all things kind of creepy. That goes back to just, you know, I guess really at an early age, um, you know, my brothers and sisters trying to scare me. That was kind of, you know, always kind of fun. And um, then there was Halloween, which was really cool because I think a lot of kids like, you know, the creepy costumes. And, you know, a lot of it also came from, you know, just had a really good friend who happened to be an artist. And, uh, you know, when we were little kids, had a camera and tried to do some little movies. You know, this was back when there was stuff like Super 8, which is really old. And, you know, Fangoria, for instance, you know, the, the current um, horror magazine, uh, horror movie magazine, I actually had issue number one. So, you know, again, I'm kind of old. In terms of how I got started on making horror games, um, loved uh, a lot of the other horror games that have come out, you know. Um, 
for instance, Resident Evil, one of my favorite games, uh, really an inspiration. And when we got a chance to work on Dead Space here at Visceral, uh, it was it was just awesome because it just hit on so many of the things that I personally love. And the people here that are working on the game are just super talented and, and really awesome to work with. Bryce asks, what can we expect out of the new bosses in Dead Space 2? Can we expect to see scarier ones? Oh, Bryce. Oh, Bryce. Um, yes. Uh, you can expect that there are bosses in Dead Space 2. As far as what can you expect out of them? Dismemberment, exploding sacks maybe, uh, really awesome killing moves of Isaac. Those are some of the things that you can kind of expect. Uh, and just, and a lot of fun. You can expect fun out of them. Rolando Roke. Rolando Roke. Hope I said your name right, Ro. Can a demo be released as a Christmas gift for us all? Well, Rolando, that is a great question. A lot of people are asking that question. Going to have to do some thinking about that, but I would say stay on your toes, uh, stick on the Facebook page, and you never know. All right, everybody, that's it for the questions this time. Thanks a lot for submitting them. You know, I just want to say again how super awesome it is to know that there's so many people that are supporting what we're trying to do here. There's no better feeling than working with a great group of people here and knowing that there's another really awesome group of people out there that are excited and passionate about what you're doing. It makes it super cool to come into work every day and just know that, you know, at some point we're going to get to share what we're working on with you guys and we really hope you enjoy it. If you haven't pre-ordered Dead Space 2, please get out there and do so. It's coming out on January 25th, 2011 in the United States, North America, and all that. And uh, January 28th, 2011 in Europe. So please get out there and do it. And again, I just want to say thank you and keep the questions coming. Be happy to do this again. And I uh, hope you had a great uh, last week with the turkeys and the whatnots. And uh, really hope you have a great week coming up.